Hello. Today we're going to have a look at setting up and leveling a swash plate on an MSH Protoss. Uh, to do this we'll be using a TNN engineering swash plate leveling tool. These tools are designed specifically for the MSH Protoss so they fit on the swash plate accurately and they've also been designed with another feature which allows you to uh, set the correct swash plate position for zero pitch. I'll show you that a little bit later on. Now, to get started, as you can see, I've removed the rotor head uh, above the swash plate. If you're doing this as a brand new build, you just swat level the swash before you finish building the rotor head. Uh, very important, make sure you unplug your motor or else things could get a bit messy. Now, the first step to leveling your swash is to set up your transmitter so we get the correct um, outputs. Okay. Firstly, you want to make sure that you have uh, no sub trims and no uh, trims at all set in your radio because we are setting this up from scratch. Next, we want to make sure that we're getting the full uh, pitch range uh, signal coming from our transmitter. So uh, I've set up a pitch curve to do our setup. Now the pitch curve I'm using is a 0, 50, 50, 50, 100 pitch curve. This allows me to get the minimum pitch, the maximum pitch and my mid stick 50% position. The reason why I've flattened the curve in the middle there is so that it's not so sensitive in the middle. So I know I'm getting exactly 50%. So that's minimum, 50% and 100. Now once we've set up our transmitter, we want to make sure that the servo horns are level. Now what we do is we need to put it in the 50% zero pitch position. So that's a zero pitch middle stick position. Put your horns on as close to level as possible. You won't get it at 100%. So what you'll do, have to do is make sure that they're level by using the sub trims. So I'll go ahead and adjust the sub trims to get this elevator servo level so it's a bit too low so now I'm, I'm going up now that looks pretty good now go go around and do all the servos and make sure they're all level at the 50% zero pitch position okay once we've leveled up all the servo horns we want to go to the 50% zero zero pitch position to level our swash plate initially now just easy to use place the swash plate level on and you're looking for gaps. Uh, if there's gaps, that means the swash plate is not level. And as you can see, there is a gap right there. Now what we do is at the zero pitch position, we, we want to get rid of those gaps by adjusting the length of these links. So I'll go ahead and adjust these links and I'll be back. Okay, I've adjusted the links. I've adjusted the lengths of these links, how to do the uh, airline and elevator. And as you can see, there's no gaps anymore. Now I'll just show you uh, the other feature of this swash leveling tool. Okay, the height of this swash leveling tool has been designed so that at the when the top of the swash leveling tool is level with the bottom of the bolt hole, as you can see here, that is actually the correct position for the swash plate at zero pitch. This will ensure that your mixing arms will be level, and this is the position where you want your swash plate swash plate to be for zero pitch. Okay, to adjust the swash plate for the correct um, position for the zero uh, pitch, what we do is we adjust the three linkages. As you can see before, it was in the correct position already, but if it's too high or too low, you'd adjust all three linkages equally to get that level. Now, what we're looking at now is the how level the swash plate is at the top and bottom. Now, as you can see, there's a gap there at minimum pitch and there's a gap on the elevator servo at maximum pitch. Now how do we get rid of that? So it's level in the middle, perfectly level in the middle. At minimum pitch we have a gap. The way we get rid of this is we need to adjust the end points of the corresponding servo. So I'll go ahead and I'll adjust the end point. You can see, oh, wrong way, I'm adjusting the end point till we have no gap. Beautiful. 
So you can see from zero pitch to minimum pitch, we have no interactions. Now I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, fix, I'll adjust all the other endpoints so that the swash is level throughout the entire, its entire range. Okay, I've uh, adjusted all the endpoints so that it's level at both the top and bottom. So minimum and maximum pitch. So as you can see now, there's no gaps through the entire range of movement. And as you can see, the swash is traveling up and down perfectly smoothly and interaction free. This is what you want. So this is how you set up a swash plate uh, on an MSH Protoss with a swash leveling tool.